Hey friends, we'll be back into this new video tutorial with the OSP Pro. In this video today, I'm going to be letting you guys know our complete our website for you guys. You're going to be getting up your videos, you're going to be learning up with us, and you're going to be in position to come up with ebooks with us, and you're going to be watching with us each steps on how things are done practically. Now, addition to that yesterday I happened to make for you in the previous video, actually it was all about how to get started using one on us always be text editor. If you go back on under other about us, about our services, I also happened to add there one on us text editor. So you can always go down on our website, this is our website, it's called tutorials.ospitdictosolutions.com. You can always go there and then you do what you want. You can always go there and then we be in position to to narrate the story together now yesterday i made for a video on how to start using our text editor now this time around i'm going to be showing you how really do we use how can we start using this editor with maybe as w3 css or bootstrap because this editor has all in built-in functions so you can actually use this text editor with w3 css and you come up with the one nice complete responsive simple platform app which you can even turn into an android app or you can even use other plugins to come up with a given complete application now i don't want to take a lot of time i just want to take you straight to this this stuff so this is the home page you can always go there down go via about the company blah blah if you want to go to a major website, it's called the ospidictosolution.com and then if you want to go to Totoro's point or Totoro's platform for OSP, it's called totoros.ospidictosolutions.com So make sure you guys will stay tuned and make sure let us join the service together. Now, as I said, this is the panel down. We do, we do provide different services, even Baric SMS API. So you guys will be waiting to get information from you. Now, this is it. Online HTML5 editor that I really happened to plug into here so when i click there it's going to open for many window which we're going to be in position to start up giving up the editing now previous on the other previous window i happen to show you how this editor really works are basing on using html and css now i'm going to be showing today in this video how can you actually tend to use this edit of mine with w3 css you get so this editor has a complete plugin for w3 css or one on css libraries if you want to use css libraries with w with with this plugin it will definitely work for you as expected now this is it i happen to go back to w3 css call actually the the uh, tutorials point on where you can actually get the plugin for their the download page you get so i have to look for something called the sdn so i think SDN which I can actually look for right now at the moment is I think I just need that customized stuff uh, I'm gonna be using which one so I think I'm just gonna be using this one here so where is it where is it at uh, this very one download page so this is what I'm going to add into my page because it's really pointing to that given stuff so it's what what I'm gonna be using at the moment so this is the complete stuff so I just need to go back on my head page there and I just pass my code. Boop. So after passing my W3 CSS code around there, I'm implies in a simple term my page is going to be complete W3 CSS. So you see, if I happen to happen to write in a tag there, and then I close the tag, boop, boop. so definitely if I open up the page there and I try to come back down in the page, I'm just going to come back there. I can always create a class just normally, like you know like you guys used to always do with other plugin or with other stuffs like for instance i'm going to just call them maybe i give assumption inside here i have h1 and this h1 i'm just going to be typing maybe like maybe introduction maybe introduction to w3 css and for sure you guys who have been actually programming on css on w3 css you can simply see that actually my plug the, the w3 css cn cdn this one here is already enabled in features here as otherwise you can see how my text looks like it has already taken the margin zero pixels and the padding so definitely that implies is already applicable so if i just go back here on the page and i say maybe you not know i want to actually apply the w3 minus blue boop, boop. I think you guys see the magic works around. <laughs> you get it? 
So I just need to add the double three minus party. Oh my god, this is so cool because you can actually do here your coding, and after doing all your coding, you can actually go into their page and then you just track and drop your poll application from this page into the way you want application to go. So if you also check here, if I go further here, I can actually go on to this page. And you know what? I want to text center my element. Like, boop, I want the element to be center. You get? I can also say, you know what? I want padding to that given element. Boop. My friend, the thing is just moving as expected. I also want maybe, I want to be having border. You know, I need border around that element. You can even go further. Remember with double three CSS, how about if you break the chords? You get this is what I mean. How about if I break these chords like this? Does it still work? With my editor is possible. You can still break the chord and you write your chords in this summarized way. This is how funny this editor is like. It has those built-in functions and you can definitely use it for your complete stuff. And remember, it's an HTML5 editor that in price can even support your web. Uh, mobile app development especially HTML5 apps so you can definitely develop up mobile apps with this editor so in a simple time if I also go back here and I say you know what I want that thing to be round again how about if I say I want it to be land large you see so to definitely go pixel how about if I say X how about that you see so to build that complete stuff around our editor which I think is a good practice. And then on the other way around, you can also even add different background to that. I can even say double three minus green. Boop. I think you can see. So this really shows us that you can actually use this editor to come up with your own customized application page. Like for instance, I can even go back out of this and I try to build something called a grid. Which is going to be the next video. Say so otherwise, you guys. I really happen to show this in this editor. That implies in a simple term, you can do complete programming. Use this online editor. So, you guys who have not yet happened to go to my page, please just go to always to tutorials.ospidcrossolutions.com and then just down the link below. I'm going to be putting option on this video. I'm going to give you a link below on how you can get started to use this editor. So, actually, definitely, definitely when you go there down, go to services down here and under services, look for HTML, HTML look for online HTML five editor and after getting that just click on try so when you click on try definitely gonna be in a platform to start programming with me so definitely this will launch you to our editor where you guys are gonna be in a position to start up coming up with your own given application you get which I think is gonna be a good scenario and a good application for you to get started programming and then you'll draw yourself back then on the other way around I'm also gonna be showing you I'm also gonna be putting this link down for w3 schools where you guys you can get this customized css and then you apply in your page now this is not a scene you can even add this kind of meta showcase into your page so that your page looks little complete responsive even for a simple or an, a nice platform so that implies in a simple term if i want to make application and i don't want to share it with someone else or if i totally want to make my application on test and then i see what i'm doing online my friend this is a good platform for you guys to so come on and try do those stuffs i know some of my friends want to make all this tough online so i really happy for you guys we came up with our other text editors too i'm very delighted to have you guys on board and if any of you are using this and plus using this at the moment i'm very happy and glad because you also going to get the trick on how to how to use it and how to manifest it into your daily life otherwise guys have a blessed day thank you guys for watching this video and i make sure you stay tuned to the next time because next time i'm going to be showing you how to use grid in w3 css using osp text editor otherwise stay tuned thank you guys for watching this video love you thank you